Welcome to the Humble Bartender. Got an amazing recipe coming up for you in this episode, guys. We're doing a twist on a Mai Tai, implementing flavors of chai tea, which I will show you later on in the video. Infused the rum with the chai, I've made a little syrup, and some homemade orgia as well, which you may have seen in my previous video. This is getting put to the test today in a lovely drink. So stay tuned for the recipe, it's gonna be amazing. Hello, hi, welcome back to the Humble Bartender. I'm Will Crawshaw. If this is your first time tuning in and you love cocktails, you like making them at home or just like drinking them in bars, please do hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on so you don't miss out on any of the cool recipes and reviews to come. Today, we're doing a Mai Tai. I'm super excited because this is gonna be a fantastic drink. The orgia I made on one of the previous videos turned out so, so good that I'm so excited to use it. I've not used it yet, so let's get stuck in and let's have a little chat and talk about a Mai Tai, where it came from. I'm gonna put this drink together for you and tell you how you can make this at home as well. So the tale of the Mai Tai starts in 1944, according to Trader Vic, who's an owner of a tiki bar of the same name, Trader Vic's, together with Don Beach from Don Beach Coma. They were kind of the first guys to start the tiki culture. So the tiki culture is a blend of Caribbean and Polynesian influence where people can escape the reality and indulge in exotic and wild flavors and interesting serves. The cocktail has been a careful combination of tropical flavors, rum, curacao, lime, all these kind of Caribbean influenced and Polynesian flavors. Trader Vic tells the story of when he was serving two of his friends, serving classic simple cocktails like daiquiris, Manhattans and martinis. It was inspired by the simplicity. It was inspired to create a new exotic rum drink. So allegedly he took down a bowl of 17 year old rum, threw it together with some lime juice, some rock candy syrup, curacao and some French orgia. Shook it with crushed ice, put half a lime on top and a sprig of mint to represent the kind of island. After one of his friends took one sip of the drink, he says Mai Tai Roy, which means out of this world the best. Fitting name. There's where he decided to call the drink Mai Tai. So that's enough about the kind of history. Just a little bit of an overview of where the kind of drink came from. And there's been a you know a bit of confusion and Don the Beach Coma has a few different things to say. How Trader Vic was inspired by a rum punch based drink. But anyway, let's crack on and I'm gonna tell you my recipe. I'm calling this drink the Madagascan Mai Chai. Buckle up boys. So I can't really take full credit for the Mai Chai part of the name. So shout out to John Boyce who's put this little drink together for me a little while ago using coconut water, lime, tiki bitters, and the orochata as well. But this is slightly different. This is more of a traditional Mai Tai, but using the chai flavors that are infused into two of the liquids that are going into the drink. Another shout out to my friend Brad with his company Alpha Fit, which I'm on their training program at the moment. He does a detox tea blend, and he's recently added a component to it that he was sent by mistake called Madagascan Chai which is this beautiful tea. So thank you, Brad, for putting me onto this. I hope you don't mind me using this in the video. So I've been and got myself some to add to the blends of the tea that I'm drinking. It's a really healing tea. I feel fantastic. The, the program's amazing. So you'll have to look out for that alpha fit when it is live. If you're into your fitness, it's a game changer. I can guarantee it. It's artificial intelligence training software alongside the most powerful supplement plan you could ever imagine. Amazing. This is a chai of Madagascar. So this is from the tea makers of London. I'm not sure if many other brands do it, but my God, get your nose in there. It's unbelievable. So this is green honey bush, orange bits, cocoa bits, cinnamon, ginger bits, flavor. A bit mysterious. Vervain, cardamom pods, cloves, rose pepper, vanilla bits, and rose leaves as well. So an amazing, amazing tea. What I've done, I've infused 100 mils of Diplomatico Mantuano, which I reviewed recently. With 30 grams of the tea, I've let it cold infuse for about 12 hours, and it's turned out really, really nice. So this is going in as the rum element of the drink. I've also made a little syrup with the tea as well. It's a one-to-one -one syrup. It's the recommended brew with 100 mils of water, strongly brewed, one-to-one -one with sugar, golden granulated, and this has just been set out now, just nice and cold, ready to be used in the drink. The orgia is going in as well, which I've made in a previous video, which I'll put a little link to up in that corner there. You wanna click that It's a good recipe, man. So let's get stuck in and make this drink, I'm excited, I've not tried this yet. So let's get some ice into this beautiful glass here, which we're using, which is the Ellen Collective Rocks. First ingredient, we need a good whack of 
the rum. So we're going to use 50 mils going in to the tin. So you can smell that, that spice has been so well infused into the rum. Just as a cold infusion, 12 hours is more than enough. Instead of a dry curacao, I like Quancho. I love this stuff. So we're gonna use half a shot, so about 12 and a half mils of Quancho going in. My favorite thing. Oh. Next, we're gonna use the Orgiat. We're gonna use about a quarter of a shot. Really, really nice. I may add a little bit more, as it is quite thin. And then we're gonna add another quarter of a shot. You can call it 10 mils if you want. So 10 mils of the syrup, 10 mils of the Orgiat, let's say. Uh, 50 mils of the infused rum, 12 and a half mils of Cointreau. Lime juice, the recipe usually calls for a whole lime, but I like 35 mils going into the tin. Oh yes, oh yes, so oh, yes. This is gonna be banging. It smells amazing. Just gonna have a little taste of this base liquid before it shakes up. Mm. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and add number 10 mils of the Ojia, with it being so thin. I really want that flavor in there. I really wanna show off this Ojia. I'm gonna drain any excess water from this glass here. I'm gonna take a scoop of ice. Straight into the tin. On top, nicely sealed. Give it a good shake. That should do it. Quick chilled. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful drink. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be good, man. You know this is gonna be good. What's not to love? Oh my God. So, straight in. To the old fashioned here. I've attempted to crush some ice in the kitchen. It's turned out more like snow, to be honest. But let's get some on top. Try cap this. If I can, a little ice cap over the top. Bit really, but it'll do. I don't really stock straws, but I managed to find one little straggler in the kitchen. So that's going in. I'm gonna put a generous couple of sprigs of mint, as called for in the original recipe. Give them a bit of a slap in. Get them aromas going. Just tuck that neatly by the straw. So when you do take a sip, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that aroma. Lime zest to finish. I'm gonna get this out here and just trim off some of the pith and some of these sides. And just get these essential oils over the top of the drink. We're gonna, I'm gonna relax and enjoy this now. So a beautiful little lime twist. Just sat there as well. And just to finish, just cause it is a chai flavored one, pinch of cinnamon on top and that's the one guys that's everything this is a madagascan my chai i hope you like it let's have a little taste shall we let's get that little zest out of the way oh, oh. so on the nose you get the mint you get the oils from the lime zest a little bit of that cinnamon as well, which just brings all the chai character to life. Mm. That's a serious, serious twist on a Mai Tai. Absolutely delicious. Beautiful little sweetness to it. Nice, sharp, beautiful, fresh lime. The rum infused with the chai is coming through so nicely. You've kind of got all the beautiful spices just singing through softly through the through the orgiat and the lime. It's just a beautiful, beautiful creation. Absolutely outrageous, if I don't say so myself. Guys, you gotta give this a go. It's a beautiful drink. I hope you enjoy it. So as I say, check out the orgiat video. Find the links to Diplomatico Manchuano below and for the tea as well you can find a little link below to amazon where i've got this from you can go through there and grab it and all the ingredients for the yours are on that page as well 
So, but you can use whatever rum you like, really, in a different triple sec, but by all means, just get the chai in there. It works so, so well. Give it a go, guys. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite tiki cocktail? Question of the day. Let me know. Drop me a comment. If we see any weird and interesting ones that you've had, we'll, we'll knock one up and I'll do my own little recipe on it as well. Maybe do a little twist. It'd be great. Thanks again for watching. I'm very grateful for all you viewers. And, you know, I've seen the subscribers knocking up now. We're almost at a thousand. This, you know, this is from when I started back in November. You know, I, I never thought we'd reach this many numbers so soon. So thanks ever so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And do like, share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Get onto the Instagram, Twitter. The Patreon isn't set up yet. I know I've been saying it, but I've just not got around to putting the offers up there. I am busy at work as well as doing the videos and all the other things that, you know, we have to do in life. So, hey-ho. But thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon, guys. Cheers. Oh, she's a bobby dazzler. Yeah, so. Cool.